Hello and welcome back to the series on NER and Python with Spacey 3.0. This is an update to my earlier videos on training an NER model with Spacey 2.0. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through all the steps for creating a config.cfg file using uh, the Spacey widget and converting the default base config file into the config.cfg proper format. This is going to allow us to take the data that we created in the last video, the binary uh, .spacey data, to then pass that into a new model via the training process with the config file that we'll have from this video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that you need to familiarize yourself with is this new config file system. Now, Spacey has a widget on their website that allows for you to create a base config file, run a little bit of code that will then allow for you to convert that base config file into a properly formatted config.cfg file. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have a link in the description down below. With this widget, you can select some basic things. So I'm going to say that I want to train the NER, and for right now, we're going to be just using the CPU. One of the nice things about Spacey 3.0 is the ability to use the GPU and train a transformer or a BERT model. We're not going to do accuracy in this model or in this training process either. I'm going to have a separate video that's going to detail this. The reason why I'm not doing this is because it takes a lot longer to do, and we're interested in just getting the basic steps right now. Accuracy will include a toke to vec. Um, uh, pipeline that's going to be trained as well. So it's a little bit longer, but you're working with word vectors and you're going to have better accuracy. So we're going to go with efficiency right now. What you're going to do is you're going to take this output, which is down here from the widget, and you're going to copy all of this into your into a file in your directory called base underscore config. You're going to paste all that in here, just like so. And you have a file that looks like this. Now, when you look at this, you'll notice that underneath paths, you're going to have two things, train equals null and dev equals null. What these are going to equate to are your training data and your validation data that we created in the last video. Now, we noticed in the last video that our training data has the is in the data subfolder and it's under camp under it's camp it's underscore train dot spacey. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that information and we're going to pass that as a string and put that right there. And then we're going to do the same thing for dev. We're going to set that equal to another string that's going to be camp underscore valid. And that's all you need to do right now with this base config file to actually go through and uh, and start training your model. However, you can't train off this file alone. You have to run the next bit of code that Spacey gives you, which allows for you to take that file and convert it into a properly formatted config file. So we can do that by just scrolling down and using this built-in function, the init fill config function from Spacey. So let's go ahead and do that. And the way we're going to do it is with the command line. You're going to have to become a lot more comfortable with the command line in Spacey, in Spacey 3.0. So we're going to open up our terminal and I'm going to zoom in so that you can get a, a better read on all this. And then I'm going to get into the proper directory. Now I can do that in Windows by just typing in CD or what I can do is I can go in and open up explore and go down to in this case I'm in projects and I'm going to go into NER underscore 3x and then if, if you're working with Windows you can just type in CMD and automatically get into the proper area right there it's not going to matter that we're in the right environment for me because uh, for me I have spacey 3.0 installed on my base environment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and now I'm going to just simply copy and paste this spacey config file, or sorry, the spacey command line right here. So Python dash M spacey init fill config base config. This is going to take one argument right here. This is going to be the base config and uh, the, the file that you want to take and the, the output that you want to have. So it's going to take in the base config file and convert it to just the standard config file, which we're going to use in the next video to actually train a new model. We're going to get down to that step in just a second. 
So let's go ahead and move this over on the other screen, open up our command line right here. This is where I want to be, fantastic. And I'm gonna type in what I just pulled up a second ago on uh, on the Spacey website, which is Python m init fill dash config base underscore config dot cfg. So that base file. And then we're gonna have config dot cfg be the output. And when I execute this, we have no module named. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's because I didn't put spacey. Uh, spacey init fill config base config dot cfg config dot cfg. And now when you execute this, you should be seeing something like what you're seeing now. It's going through and thinking, and it's going to be converting that base config dot cfg into a uh, into a uh, config dot cfg. And so when you do this, you've now got a, that base config file converted into this. And it's going to look very similar, but this is the format that Spacey is going to be expecting. It's going to have a lot more information in there than the original base config file had, as you can tell just by quickly scrolling through. And now it's properly formatted. We're going to use this config file in the next video to then train our NER model. That's going to be it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below. And as always, if you are getting a lot from this channel, please, please consider uh, supporting the channel via Patreon. And thank you to all my Patreon supporters.